This is my cat, Pockets. He's not supposed to be in here when I'm recording because he purrs louder than a truck. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am just going to continue playing Dream Tiny. Man and I begin to stroll through the neighborhood. I can't believe how beautiful it is outside. Kids are playing in the street, flowers are in bloom, and the faint smell of nearby barbecue drifts through the air. This place is nice. Too nice. Don't trust it. Good eye, honey. You can never be too careful. See that baby on the stroller over there? Government operative. We're out of you, baby. We walk for a while and eventually end up in a small park. Toddlers chase each other through a playground and dogs of all shapes and sizes run through the grass. It's pretty crowded, but a man has spent spots a nice empty bench. We start to make our way over to it when... Heads up. Ow. Frisbee suddenly hits me in the face. That is just rude. Oof. Oh, it's a puppy. Going with a neat clam handkerchief tied around its neck, bounds up to me, wagging its tail. I like your neck, I pop up, so can't so. Oof. He runs around in a circle and nudges my leg with his nose. Oh god, this is the cutest dog. Can I help you? <laughs> you definitely could have cut that. I kind of if I was looking, and if it wasn't being thrown at my face like someone rude. Yeah, I in a Hawaiian shirt jogs over to us and takes the frisbee from me. You know, frisbees are traditionally caught with your hands, not your face. Frisbees are also not traditionally thrown at people's faces. Sir. There we go. Well, you're not supposed to aim them at people's heads. But I'm fine. Not that you asked. Well, I'm just messing with you. I'm grind, by the way. Don't away. I'm daddy. This is my daughter and man. I look over at Amanda and we find her sitting on the ground, rubbing the dad's tummy. We will stay for your dog. Ha! Ah. Your dog's cool. You're not. Ah, well, Maxwell sure loves the attention. It's great to see another father and daughter out here on such a sunny day. Who is yours? Not that I care, I only want your dog. Brian gestures over to a grassy knoll where a young girl sits on a checkered blanket. She's raining a book bigger than her head. She puts it down and heads over to us. This is Daisy. She's reading the brothers Tar Taramazov. The teacher tells me that she has the reading comprehension skills for high school. Good for you, Daisy. How old is she? She's Jen. Gross, little youngster. Whoa. My natural dad instincts kick in and I just brag about my child's accomplishments. Oh no, it's happening. Go on, Daisy, tell them about yourself. Um, I... That's my girl. Amanda, get in there. Okay, okay. Mm. <sighs> grade card. You pull a wrinkled copy of Amanda's last grade card out of your back pocket. Dad. Awesome grades. Brian uses 25 HP. Really carry that around everywhere? Ouch, maybe it's kind of weird. You lose that. Daisy just started a weekly chess club in her own elementary school computer lab. What? For days. She's the president, too, of course. She's also the only kid in the club. Dang, my high school doesn't have a chess club because nobody plays chess. Or a computer lab. Your school sucks. You lose 10 HP. Hmm. Don't brag. Amanda here just recently won a local photography award. What did your child do? Oh, congratulations. 
Daisy actually just won a statewide poetry contest. Who is 15 HP? Spelling bee photo. From looking through your phone browser, you managed to pull up a photo of Amanda winning her 10th grade spelling bee. Wow, congratulations. Daisy is getting prepped for her annual spelling bee right now. Hopefully, this will be her third win in a red shot. Okay. Yikes, you lose by HP. Daisy sold enough candy bars to get the top prize. A canoe! No top prize is a canoe, Ryan! We're taking it out next weekend. Was that even possible? Man, I could barely get one of those sticky hands. It's extra powerful. Use 20 HP. I'm gonna die. Last week, I'm prompted a man to help an old woman with her grocery bags, and then she stole them. It's extra powerful. Brian, this is 20 HP. Did I mention Daisy said her first word at 10 months? Daddy. Man, this was what? Still cute? This isn't the thing to bring up. Yes, it is. That's awesome. It's hilarious. Who is 20 HP? <sighs> Hmm. Child art. You unfurl your wallet to reveal a copy of the drawing of Cornucopia and in first grade. Cute! It isn't very impressive, but Amanda genuinely appreciates you holding on to it. Or at least she says. Daisy here has all of her adult teeth, as most do by this age. Never had a cavity yet. Mana self consciously pushes her lips together and hides her teeth. It's extra powerful. Minus 20 HP. No! Man is in all honors classes this semester. Right, minus 10 HP. Oh, really? I'm actually talking to Daisy's teacher about having her skip right. You know, Mana Carol kind of bristles with that one. Who is 20 HP? Dang, he's really got a beak. Boy, it's been such a treat. It hasn't been a treat for us, Brian. So I take it you guys are new to the neighborhood. Not of your business. We just moved in. Do you live around here? Yeah, we live in the cold south next to the coffee shop. What a coincidence. That's where we live too. Small world, yeah? It's probably the only neighborhood. Daisy and I are in a little ranch style house on the corner. I know that house. It's just like ours. Slightly bigger and better. Does this guy have to outdo me at everything? Oops, thank goodness. What a lovely place! Well, I don't want to take up any more of your time. Really nice meeting you guys. You'll have to stop by at some point. We won't. Yeah, definitely. Bye. We still won't. Did you get the feeling that he was trying to one up us? Yes. Trying and succeeding. I can't believe the kid's only 10. What was I even doing at her age? Eating dirt? I believe you haven't been a thing for horse. Oh, that's how old she was with her horse. Ease. Shame that didn't pan out. Could have majored in character horse studies. It's not too late to minor in horse creative writing. Too close to the truth, then. Never speak of the fantastic adventures of Sir Horsington the Brave, an epic seven parts by Amanda Dad. We walk off the horse up we can walk around the park a bit more, enjoying the day. Did I take a nap? I don't want to. The sunlight is making me real tired. I don't think I got enough sleep last night. We slept like 14 hours in boxes. Exactly. I'm a cat. I don't sleep all the time. As we're walking home, I hear heavy footsteps behind us. It's a murder. We're dead. Stroll. Daddy, bro. I turn around and I'm greeted by a familiar face jogging up to us. Craig. Bro. Bro. Holy oh, wow. I haven't seen Craig in forever. It's been too long, dude. Yeah, wow. You look great. Unlike me. Oh yeah, I cleaned up my act. I've had a child. Cleaned up his act. Are you kidding me? Script. 
Amanda, this is my friend Craig. We went to college together. We were roommates for a while, too. Amanda, dude, you probably don't remember me, but you're so big now. Hello, and hello, cute baby. Oh, those mushy cheeks. Ah, oh, thank you. Last time I saw you, I think you were about her size. This is River. Say hi, River. Picks up her tiny wrist and waves it around. River gurgles happily. Are you babysitting? Nah, dude. We're with my kid. Yeah, it has been a long time. Feels like one minute we're rolling up to the rooms with bad news, the next we're both fathers. Where have you been, man? He's working on a California and just really relocated this business back to Maple Bay. No kidding. Man and I just moved to this side of town. How's Ashley doing? Great name. I mean, Ashley. Ashley is the name. She actually still worked at Smashly, classy, and we got a close last year. So, oh, dude, I'm so sorry. It's old news. Take turns taking care of Rover and the twins. Twins? With three kids? Ain't life something, bro, right? Craig, Stan, Craig. The father. Three. Craig, Stan, Craig. Oh, that was my old college nickname. He got it because he did a lot of cake stands. Imagine that. It's the thing where you do a handstand on a keg and you drink the keg. Great. He was very good at it. Oh, bro. I hate to be that guy, but I'm in the middle of my daily jog and I really gotta keep up my heart. Brought River along for, you know, resistance training. Your daily jog? I jog nearly. I jog January 1st, when I promised myself that I'm going to jog daily for the rest of the year. But I give up after 30 minutes and just walk home. It's never too late to get back into it, dude. You should join me sometimes. I don't know. Come on, it'll be fun. We can grab breakfast afterwards. Catch up. We can do a bro brunch like the good old days. Right, sure, sounds great. Great. Let's get that going soon. I better get moving. Good to see you guys. Craig gives a little wave, puts his earbuds back in, and drops off. Can't believe Craig's ripped. And his kids? Really? Why is that? The Craig I knew was not fit to be responsible for any living thing, including and especially himself. One time I watched him drink an entire jar of marinara sauce for dinner. Ugh. He opened up a new jar of marinara sauce and then he drank it like it was a normal thing that people did. So then, holy, when he asked him when he, what he was doing, he said, and I quote, basically a smoothie, bro. He was not wrong. Still gross. I mean, technically he's not wrong. Jogs. He was jogging. He's like a totally different person. Anyway, we better get home. Well, plenty of time to reflect on how old I feel later. Alright, I think that is a good time to stop. Thank you for watching.